Bots will be smarter than all of us in 15 years if it takes that long. <laughs> it's a bold prediction made by a Google researcher just this week. And the driving force behind that robot, robotic brain power, is the focus of the first installment of a year long series that we are calling The Big Idea. Fox Size Dan Bowens takes a look at what the future holds for artificial intelligence. <laughs> Camera, action! Meet humanoid robot Robo Thespian. My movements are powered by a combination of compressed air. He's designed to interact with people even through Skype. So Robo Thespian, tell me, how are you today? Hello. I'm very well, thank you. Created by England-based engineered arts, the Robo Thespian runs on algorithms and codes, or a form of artificial intelligence. He doesn't just play back things, he will also interact with you. He sees you, he recognizes people, he'll recognize your face, your emotional state. Maybe he'll guess a bit about your age, that kind of thing. Humanoid looking and sounding robots are a thing that may have seemed like science fiction just a generation ago. Today, they are just the beginning of the next wave of artificial intelligence. But first, let's take a step back a bit for a working definition of these thinking machines. No 9,000 computer has ever made a mistake or distorted information. For many people, artificial intelligence is associated with Hollywood sci-fi like HAL 9000 in the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. Hello, I'm here. Or more recently, the film Her, where a guy falls in love with his own operating system. In everyday life, AI is everywhere. We asked Tracy Lull, a doctor in computer science specializing in artificial intelligence, for a definition. It's very broad. I guess, in my mind, it, it's basically systems that exhibit what we would traditionally call intelligence. From cars that can drive themselves, filtering software utilized by Amazon to predict what you may purchase next, to Apple's voice-activated Siri, it is all a form of AI. Like all software now, Siri can't think on its own, but the advanced recognition technology allows it to intuitively answer questions. Similarly, IBM's Watson can respond, crunching millions of pieces of data quickly. The results? Possible advances in the health industry, and it crushes the competition on Jeopardy. Seems to have a split personality. Who is Hyde? Hyde, yes, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Now researchers are focusing more and more on an advanced form of AI called deep learning, meaning software programs that won't only sort data, but will learn to recognize things like photos and faces by mimicking logic, like a human brain, just much, much faster. We don't know where the, how this is going to end. Companies like Facebook, Netflix, and Google are all investing heavily in this deep learning technology. Futurist Robert Wald imagines the possibilities. What if it starts, you know, providing more intelligence as to how to do the search or say you asked about that last week, here's something I've noticed. By 2029, a Google researcher predicts the machines will match human intelligence, a topic Gray Scott, publisher of online tech site Serious Wonder, has often pondered. So imagine a machine that becomes so intelligent that it decides it wants to improve its own operating system. This is a pretty exciting time for artificial intelligence, is it not? It is an exciting time. Luke Melhauser is executive director of California-based Machine Intelligence Research Institute. It's part of a growing field focusing on making sure good things happen when machines surpass human intelligence. The company just published the e-book, Smarter Than Us. Humans rule the planet not because we're the strongest or the fastest, but because we're the smartest. And so once the machines become even smarter than we are, they'll be steering the future rather than us. It is a rational human fear, which brings us back to that robot. Robo Thespian, tell me, some humans are worried that you robots are going to take over the world. What do you make of that? I would never want to take over the world. Politics leaves no time for acting. Or maybe that's just what they want us to think. I'm laughing Dan Bowens, Fox 5 News. Can't even sing better than us. Yeah. Wow, what a, what a frightening future. Where were they when homework was around? I don't know. All right.